I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question from my student on geometric series. The question is, midpoints of a square are joined to form an inscribed square. Start with a square of 16 centimeters and follow the sequence to make three inscribed squares. Part two is, explain the pattern in sides of the squares formed. And part three is, find the sum of area of seven squares, initial plus six inscribed. So I hope the question is absolutely clear. I would like you to pause the video, solve the question, and then look into my suggestions, right? So let's begin by sketching. So I'm just making a rough sketch here. Um, okay, so that seems to be a square to me. Let us say this is 16 units, okay? And within this, we want to uh, draw another square, which should be kind of uh, joining the midpoints. It's, let's say these are the midpoints of this square. So if I join this, these midpoints, I should get in the square, right? So I'm just joining them. Okay, assume this is another square. So that's my one square within the given square. Now again, I will join the midpoints and get third square. So we have a square which could be drawn like this now. Actually, this pattern can be continued forever. Right? So, so let's take uh, one more, the last one here. So joining the midpoints again will give me uh, another square within square. So these are the inscribed squares. Okay. So you can keep going on and on. So purposely I've just kept three. It looks good, right? Okay. Now let's look into the sides. We say start with the square of 16 centimeters. So, so the outside square is 16 centimeters. Okay. All units are in centimeters. So midpoint means this is half, right? So that means this becomes eight and that is also eight. So, so the hypotenuse of this right triangle will be how much? It will be eight square root two, correct? Eight square root two. Okay. So uh, now uh, let's go this side. This is eight square root two. So half will be half of eight, which is four square root two, right? So each will be four square root two. That will also be four square root two. I hope that makes sense, right? Now hypotenuse is always square root two times the side, right? So remember this, that hypotenuse of isosceles right triangle is square root two times side. Is it okay? So what I'm trying to say here is very simple and that is if I have, I mean, uh, I've just drawn <coughs> the one corner of it. If I have one, one, right? This is 90 degrees, then this is square root two. Perfect, yeah. So we are using this property instead of applying Pythagorean theorem all the times. So this side will be square root two times square root two is two, two times four is eight. So what we get here is a side length of eight. Do you see that? So that's what we get. Now, um, well that is eight for us now. So the sides will now be divided by eight will give me four, four. And this side will be uh, four square root two. Does it make sense to you? Correct. So I've used different sides to show you the calculations. So now uh, let me write down all these things clearly. So let's talk about pattern number first. And then we'll talk about the sides. Is it okay? So in the very first pattern, we started with we started with 16 units. So let me write 16 here. Next, when we divided, we got the second square, 
So this is our second square, which is 8 square root 2. So we got side length of 8 square root 2. And then for the third one, half of 8 square root 2 is 4 square root 2. And that multiplied by square root 2 will give us 8 as the length of the next circle. I, I should say the square. I don't know why am I saying circle. Squares, okay. Now, the fourth square here, half of 8 is 4 and hypotenuse should be 4 square root 2, right? 4 square root 2. So, so I hope you get the pattern now. So that is how the sides are decreasing, correct? Now let's try to figure out a pattern in these sides. So you could say that uh, if I divide 8 square root 2 by 16, what do I get? It is definitely a geometric sequence, right? So it is a geometric sequence. So what we will do here is, we'll use calculator, simpler. Uh, 8 square root 2, right? We'll divide this by 16. And so what do we get? We get square root 2 over 2. Do you see that? So that means the if we start at 16, let's say we start 16, then the next side is 16 times square root 2 over 2. It makes sense. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and that's what you get, right? Now here, what do you, how do you get 8? Well, if I start with previous one is 8 times square root 2 over 2 is what? If I multiply by this, it is 4, I mean, sorry, uh, 8 square root 2 times square root 2 by 2, right? So, uh, no, the side is, I mean, I have to multiply by square root 2 also. It is 8 square root 2, right? So, I have to multiply 8 square root 2 by square root 2 over 2, I get 8, perfect. So, that is how the sides are growing, correct? So I could get a general formula for this and that is if starting term is A, if starting term is A, right, then the next term is R which is square root 2 over 2 to the power of. So if it is second term, then we multiply by 1. So it is N minus 1. Is it okay? A in our case is 16 and you get all the terms, correct? So that is how the side lengths are increasing. That is how the side lengths are increasing. So I could write this geometric sequence as 16, 16 times square root 2 over 2. And here I could write 16 times square of square root 2 over 2. And then it could be 16 times square root 2 over 2 cube. So that becomes the, the sides. Correct? Now let's talk about area. We need to find the sum of area of 7 squares. So area is side square. So area is multiplying each side square, right? So area will be how much? So for area, this becomes 16 square. This becomes 16 square times what? Now square root 2 over 2 is 1 over 2. Let's look into what is square root 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2 is actually 1 over square root 2. Is that okay? So this is times square of half. Correct? Uh, since, let me write down here, square root 2 over 2 is basically 1 over square root 2. When we do square, I mean, so if I square this, you get half. Perfect? If I square this, we get half. So when you are doing the side squares, then R is half. And then the next one will be 16 times, I mean, 16 square times, we'll square this half to the power of 2 and then we get 16 square times half to the power of 
So we have to square this. Is that okay? So, so half to the power of 3. So that is how it is growing. Correct? So the sequence. Sum of squares. Let me write down like this. Sum of squares. That is, I'm, I mean, sum of area is equal to sum of all this. Right? So we could take 16 square common. And what do we get? We get 1 plus half plus 1 over 2 square, plus 1 over 3 square, plus so on. And since we are interested in 6 inscribed plus 1 initial, the last one will be 1, 2 to the power of 6. I mean, this is 2 square, 2 cube, correct? So that is how you are get, you're getting a sequence. And now, you can apply the formula which is geometric sequence sum formula. So sum in geometric sequence is a times r minus 1 over r minus 1. This is to the power of n, right? So this is to the power of n. So that is the formula for you. So n in our case is 7. Correct. So r to the power of n minus 1, I'm sorry r to the power of n minus 1. So that is how you get. So applying the formula, we get the sum of area. Sum of area is equals to a is 16 square for us. We have 16 square times half to the power of 7 minus 1 divided by half minus 1. Is it okay? So let's do this. So let's try to solve this first, which is uh, 0.5 I can say right 0.5 to the power of 7 minus 1 equals 2 we'll divide this by half minus 1 is minus half so we'll divide this by minus 0.5 I should have used the minus sign this one minus 0.5 and that gives you positive 127 by 64 We'll multiply this by 16 square. 508 is your answer. So we get this as equals to 508. Perfect. So that is how you can solve this particular question. So I hope it is absolutely clear. So what we notice here is that whenever you inscribe a square into a square, each side is 1 over square root 2 times, right? this could be written as 1 over square root 2. So as far as sides are concerned, it is a geometric sequence where a is in our case 16, the next will be multiplied by r which is 1 over square root 2. Now area square of this, so you have to just square that and then add the sequence, rather it becomes a series whenever you add a sequence and get the result by using the formula, right? So I hope that's absolutely clear. I'd like you to redo the question once so that you really get the confidence and then look into the other test questions. Thanks for watching. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and my videos. Thank you.